Wow, this guy just woke up. Basically chopping that fine like mints to add to it. Just crush them up. Oh yeah, that's sizzling away. That's gonna be delicious. Oh yeah, that's good. Love that crumb. This guy just woke up. Just slow trolling the Z-Man. Out behind, look at the birds to see which way they're gonna take us. And wow, this one found me a tuna. Feels like a good fish. <laughs> Hey, welcome along to my workshop slash kitchen bench. This is behind the test pool of the kayak shop that I'm in. I'll take you for a tour and show you what's in the shop in a moment. Um, but what we're gonna cook today is the mac tuna. I caught a mac tuna the other day. Everybody thinks, here in Australia, most people think mac tuna is just good for bait. Tomo from Japanese cuisine classes has shown me otherwise, and I'm gonna show you a couple of quick dishes that I've used for the mac tuna, which is really easy to do. Uh, we're going to do a sushimi style dish and then we're going to do a crumbed aromatic, Japanese aromatic uh, tuna recipe. But before we do that, let's have a look at the shop. And look how cool is this. You can even test them in the pool. This is the indoor test pool. So you want to try it out, you come here, you can try everything you want. Heaps of fishing kayaks. We've got Marty trying to look busy. But that's a quick look at the shop. Let's take you back into the kitchen slash workshop and we'll cook up this mac tuna. So the first dish is a, I guess it's a sashimi style dish. Um, things you're going to need for that. I'm gonna use, you know, a strip like this. I'm gonna cut that up. So key ingredient is this. You need that. You need some of that. And, and any sort of herbs and greens that you want to add to it. I'm just going to throw some tomato in it for this session because it's just a quick cook up here at the shop. Um, so we're going to take away any of that red blood that you might not like. So mac tuna is clearly a, a, lot, um, a lot redder than the other tuna. So the long tails that I'm normally catching. So it's a more intense flavour, but prepared right, it's absolutely delicious. So I'm just going to take the skin off here. By the way, this is a sushi knife, not a filleting knife, so it's pretty ugly doing this. What we got there? Great. We're going to chop this up. Basically, going to mush it up. Basically, chopping that fine like mince. If you scrape the meat off the bone, that's actually a lot easier to do. So that was that was more of a fillet. So chop that up real fine. Then we're going to. Put that into a bowl. Right, next ingredient. Get some of that. Sesame. And we're going to mix that up. Leave that marinating just like that. And at this stage, you can pretty much add anything you like. I'm just going to throw a bit of tomato, some greens would be good, any sort of herbs out of the garden, uh, and even every now and again, I'll do it with a little bit of feta cheese, which adds a bit of flavour. So for a little bit extra texture, some fried shallots, 
really nice to add to it. Just crush them up, sprinkle them over. Right. Now to enjoy this dish, it's pretty much, you can leave it marinating as long as you like, or get straight into it. So straight onto crackers for a bit of texture. So that's a really quick, simple entree. Sashimi, mac tuna. Oh, so good. You want some? No, I'll have it for you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take that over to Marty. He can finish that off while I get the main course ready, which is the Japanese aromatic crumbed mac tuna. So the next course is one of my favorites. This is aromatic Japanese crumbed fish. So it could be tuna, it could be mackerel. I've done it with trevally, uh, snapper. It's delicious for every single fish, I believe. So we're going to do it with mac tuna. For about an hour, I've had the mac tuna steaks. You can cut them as thick as you like. For about an hour, I've had these mac tuna steaks uh, marinating in soy sauce, ginger, and garlic. You can add as much garlic and ginger as you like. Just leave them marinating in that, in that sauce for at least an hour. Now we're going to take them through and put the panko crumb on. But first, we go through uh, corn flour, then we go in the milk, and then into the panko crumb, which is panko and parmesan. Again, you can use as much parmesan as you like. And to add for a bit of zest, we've got some uh, kaffir lime zest in there. I've cut the skin off the kaffir lime, diced it up really fine and thrown it in. If you can't get a kaffir lime itself, you can use the kaffir lime leaves. The nice chunky mac tuna steaks. Roll them in the corn flour. Dip them in the milk. And then cover them up. I've just got some coconut oil in there, just a sort of a shallow fry. Now you're going to cook this just like you'd cook a steak. You can have it medium rare, you can have it cooked well done, whatever you like. Oh yeah, that's sizzling away. It's going to be delicious. So they, these two are about cooked how I like them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut that open and show you the difference in the flesh. So the, the meat of the mac tuna is a lot redder, so a lot more bloody. Um, but it's really delicious. So I'm going to show you now. I'll open it up, bring it over, show you what that looks like. It's really hot and I forgot to bring my tongs. So I suppose I could, what could I use out of the workshop? Try it with some pliers because that's really hot. Look at that. So, open that up. Oh, look at that. That's what I'd call medium rare. How's that coming up? Yum. Look at that. That's delicious. So let's take this over to Marty, who's had this dish before, uh, but mostly with uh, Spanish mackerel. And what else do we have? We had long tail. So he's not had it with mac tuna. He's not the biggest fan of mac tuna, but this might be the thing that turns him. You. He's going to spit it out all over me. Oh, look at this. This is how it'll go. What do you think? Oh, yeah. It's good. That's good. Love that crumb. Is it good? Mm. So you're not too fishy? No, not at all. Cooked perfectly. Yeah. So I cooked that a little more than medium rare. Yeah, I like it cooked like the mac that way, I think. Yeah. Just cook the blood in it out, it's beautiful. I'm gonna put this down because mm. I want some. This sounds good. Thanks, Jake. Oh, would you look at that. <laughs> mm. Now, if you find the mac tuna flavor a bit off-putting or it's a bit too strong, something Tomo showed me originally when, I, when he first showed me how he cooked the mac tuna is he'd flame it. So, Get a butane gas torch, you can pick these up at Bunnings, they're pretty cheap. And what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to sear this tuna, you can sear it as long or as short as you like. What it does is it gives it a bit of a smoky texture, smoky flavour, and takes away some of the intenseness of the flesh. You can do it with skin on or skin off, and especially if you're going to use this for sushimi, where you're going to slice it nice and fine and just dip it in soy sauce, it's a really good idea to smoke it first with the, with the butane torch and it's a really different experience, you'll love it.